I made this cool AI thing almost a year ago now, but I thought I'd show you this because sometimes we get these customers in and they have a simple drawing of a simple piece that they just want us to cut out of some aluminum. So I leveraged OpenAI's uh, chat GPT for this. So typically you're gonna come in here and they're gonna have one of these and there's gonna be a hole in every corner like this. And let's say there's it's uh, 15 millimeters from that and 20 millimeters from from that side, and that hole is let's say 6.5 millimeters for an M6. Let's say the radius is eight in the corner, so it's rounded and nice. Mm, and this is gonna be let's say 200, super simple, and 400 and I don't know 55. And the AI is going to be smart enough to know that the distance from the sides on these holes is going to be the same as that one since we haven't uh, put any measurements there. And let's say thickness 5 millimeters, like so. All I need to do now is open the app and snap a picture of this. I'm going to show you, I got to uh, switch phones. Okay, so I just open up the, the OpenAI app, like so. Press the plus key. Oh, God, I closed it. Take a photo, and we're gonna grab a photo of this, like so. And next. And now it's gonna generate a barcode for us. And it used to just display the barcode right in the app here. It stopped doing that when uh, OpenAI uh, updated their, their model there. So we're just going to get a link here instead. I'm going to show you. It's super basic. We're going to copy that and we're going to go into our browser. And we're going to paste that in. And that's our barcode. So that's just the seed you see underneath there. And the, that's the what the barcode is representing. And I made it like this because I wanted to just scan it here. Have it imported and auto-generate everything. Too bad that thing can't read my phone screen. If it was a QR code, then that would have worked. I can just replace it, but nah, not worth it. So I'm gonna have to type that in, in my, you know, little script thing. Like so. And I press enter. It did this thing. And now we go to the, <coughs> the Kimla here. And we're gonna be importing the file, the output DXF there. Bam! So here's our drawing, and we can see that uh, you know, there's a radius of eight there. I can't, I have to use my other hand to show you the dimensions, but it's the correct dimensions from the edges and whatever, all four of them. And if we wanted to to produce this, we're just gonna go up there, generate. Bam! That's our G code. Refresh them. As you can see, we're going to make the small horse first, then we're going to cut the thing out, we're going to chamfer it on top, and then the bottom. So realistically, we're going from a quick drawing to producing the part in like no time at all. Pretty nice.